the genetic origins of the Somali people are far more complex than once believed. For years, conventional narratives place Somalis squarely within the East African context or mistakenly group them with Arab populations due to cultural and linguistic ties. But recent advances in genetic research have challenged those assumptions. Through high-resolution DNA analysis, scientists have uncovered a deeper and more intricate ancestry, one that combines ancient East African pastoralist roots with traces of contact from the Middle East and beyond. This isn't just a story about migration. It's a story about resilience, continuity, and unexpected connections. So the question is, where do Somali people really come from genetically speaking? And what does their DNA tell us about human history in the Horn of Africa? In this video, we'll break down the scientific findings that are reshaping our understanding of Somali identity using real genetic data, not speculation. Somalia is located in the Horn of Africa, a region that forms a natural bridge between the African continent and the Arabian Peninsula. This geographic position has placed Somalia at the center of human movement for thousands of years. Historically, Somalia was part of major trans-regional trade networks. It played a key role in the frankincense route where aromatic resins were exported to Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Rome. Its coastline stretching along the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean made it a vital link in maritime trade between East Africa, the Middle East, South Asia, and beyond. As early as the first millennium BCE, ports along the Somali coast were active hubs for merchants from Arabia, Persia, and even India. These interactions were not limited to goods. They also included ideas, languages, and, over time, small but measurable levels of genetic exchange. Archaeological and historical records show continuous settlement in this region for thousands of years. Communities here practiced pastoralism, fishing, and trade adapting to a complex ecological and cultural environment that linked both inland Africa and the coastal world. Due to this long-standing connectivity, the Somali population developed a unique genetic profile, primarily East African, but with minor detectable signals from external populations, especially from the Arabian Peninsula. To understand Somali genetic origins, researchers use three primary tools, autosomal DNA, Y-chromosome DNA, and mitochondrial DNA. Autosomal DNA, which makes up the majority of our genome, provides a broad picture of ancestry from both parents. It reflects population mixing over thousands of years and is often used to estimate overall genetic composition. Y-DNA, or Y-chromosome DNA, is inherited only through the paternal line passed from father to son. It helps track male line ancestry, often tied to specific geographic migrations. Mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA, is passed exclusively from mother to child. This allows scientists to trace maternal lineage over extremely long timescales. In the case of Somali populations, multiple large-scale studies have contributed to our understanding, including Pagani et al., 2012, and Haber et al., 2019. These studies used genome-wide data from diverse East African samples to analyze ancient admixture events and lineage continuity. The results show that Somali populations carry a distinct set of haplogroups. For Y-DNA, the most common haplogroup is E1B1B, which is associated with ancient East African and North African pastoralists. Other Y lineages like J, 1, and T are also present likely introduced through historical contact with Arabian populations. For MTDNA, the dominant lineages include L3, which is East African in origin, along with M1 and HV1, which point to connections with North Africa and the Near East. Autosomal DNA analysis reveals a complex mixture. A strong Cushitic and Afroasiatic genetic base blended with detectable though limited signals from West Asian and Arabian Peninsula sources. This combination supports the view that Somali ancestry is deeply indigenous to East Africa, with layers of admixture added over thousands of years through trade, migration, and contact. One of the most consistent findings in Somali genetic research 
is the presence of deep, uninterrupted ancestry within East Africa. Multiple studies show strong genetic continuity between modern Somali populations and ancient East African pastoralist groups that lived in the region thousands of years ago. This continuity is not just theoretical, it's measurable. For example, genome data shows high frequencies of the E1B1BY chromosome haplogroup, which has been linked to early pastoralist migrations across the Horn of Africa. These early communities were mobile, livestock dependent, and spoke languages that belong to the Cushitic branch of the Afroasiatic language family, just like modern Somali. One particularly strong genetic marker of this continuity is lactase persistence. This is the ability to digest milk in adulthood, and it's more common in populations with a long history of herding. In Somali populations, this adaptation appears at high levels suggesting long-term genetic selection linked to a pastoralist lifestyle. This alignment between genetics and culture reinforces the idea that Somali identity has been shaped by thousands of years of indigenous development, not by large-scale population replacement. So far, the evidence supports a clear conclusion. Modern Somalis are not newcomers to the Horn of Africa. They are a continuation of ancient pastoralist societies that have lived in the region for millennia. In addition to strong East African roots, Somali DNA also contains small but detectable signals of admixture from the Arabian Peninsula and surrounding West Asian regions. This genetic input is most likely the result of long-standing trade networks across the Red Sea, as well as cultural and religious exchanges during the spread of Islam over the past 1,400 years. The genetic evidence primarily appears through Y-DNA haplogroups, particularly J1 and T, both of which are commonly found in Arabian populations. These haplogroups suggest male-driven gene flow likely introduced through contact with traders, religious scholars, and maritime settlers from Arabia. This pattern is consistent with historical records that document Arab migration and influence along Somalia's coastal regions. However, it's important to emphasize this West Asian admixture is limited in scale. Autosomal DNA studies confirm that the majority of Somali genetic ancestry remains East African in origin. The Arabian component, while real and measurable, does not define the Somali genome. Instead, it represents a layer of historical interaction, a genetic trace of centuries of trade, communication, and shared belief systems, not a replacement of the native population. In short, Somali DNA reflects continuity, with contact, not conquest. Another notable aspect of Somali genetics is the presence of subtle connections to ancient populations from the Nile Valley, including the Nubians and ancient Egyptians. While these links are not dominant, they are detectable, especially when analyzing mitochondrial DNA, which traces maternal ancestry. Some mitochondrial haplogroups found in Somali populations such as M1 and HV1 also appear in DNA samples from Upper Egypt and ancient Nubia, suggesting deep, historic connections across Northeast Africa. These genetic traces align with linguistic and cultural evidence as well. Somali is part of the Cushitic branch of the Afroasiatic language family, a group that also includes ancient Egyptian, Berber, and Semitic languages. The shared linguistic ancestry points to an older prehistoric connection between populations in the Horn of Africa, the Nile Valley, and North Africa. While the genetic data alone cannot confirm direct contact between Somalis and ancient Egyptians, the overlapping Afroasiatic roots, along with matching DNA markers in maternal lineages, suggest that these populations may have once shared a broader ancestral network. In summary, these are not recent connections, but rather deep historical links that reflect a common origin point for several ancient African and Afroasiatic populations. The Somali language is a key piece of evidence in understanding the population's deeper genetic history. It belongs to the Cushitic branch of the Afroasiatic language family, a linguistic group that also includes Berber, Ancient Egyptian, Amharic, Arabic, and Hebrew. This classification is more than linguistic. It reflects a shared cultural and biological ancestry that links Somali populations to other Afroasiatic speaking groups across North Africa, the Nile Valley, 
and parts of the Middle East. Genetic data supports this connection. Somali populations share markers with Berbers in North Africa, Coptic Egyptians, and other Cushitic speaking groups in Ethiopia and Kenya. These commonalities are not the result of recent migration. They reflect a much older population structure, one that dates back over 10,000 years to a time when ancestral Afroasiatic groups began spreading across northeastern Africa and parts of the Near East. This alignment between language, culture, and DNA strengthens the argument that Somali identity is not isolated, but rather part of a larger, ancient Afroasiatic continuum. In other words, the Somali genome is not only a record of migration and mixing, it's also a living trace of one of humanity's oldest language families and the genetic legacy it carried across continents. While Somalis share some ancestry with neighboring populations, their genetic profile shows clear distinctions even within the Horn of Africa. When compared to Ethiopian or Sudanese populations, Somali DNA shows less Eurasian admixture, particularly from ancient West Asian sources. This contrast is especially visible in autosomal DNA studies. Many Ethiopian groups, particularly in the highlands, carry higher levels of Eurasian ancestry, likely due to prolonged interaction with Middle Eastern populations through trade, empire, and religion. In contrast, Somali populations have remained more genetically homogenous over time. One key factor behind this homogeneity is Somalia's strong clan-based structure. For generations, Somali society has practiced endogamy, meaning marriage typically occurs within specific clans or subclans. This cultural practice limits external gene flow and helps preserve genetic continuity across generations. As a result, the Somali genome reflects a high degree of internal consistency, making it distinct not only from neighboring populations, but also from many other groups across Africa and the Middle East. These patterns reinforce a larger theme in Somali genetics, a people who have maintained deep ancestral roots while selectively absorbing external influences through controlled and limited contact. One of the most common misconceptions about Somali identity is the assumption that Somali people are ethnically Arab. This belief is often based on shared religion, linguistic influences, and geographic proximity to the Arabian Peninsula. But genetic evidence tells a different story. The Somali genome is overwhelmingly indigenous to East Africa, with only minor admixture from Arabian or West Asian sources. Multiple genetic studies confirm that Somalis are more closely related to ancient East African pastoralists than to Arab or Middle Eastern populations. This distinction is important, especially in a global media environment where East African identities are frequently oversimplified. Colonial era classifications and modern stereotypes have often blurred the unique heritage of populations like the Somali people, placing them in vague categories that ignore their genetic and cultural depth. But the science is clear. Somalis are not recent migrants from Arabia. They are the descendants of ancient East African populations who have preserved their language, lineage, and lifestyle for thousands of years. Despite centuries of contact with external group, this makes Somali DNA not just a record of ancestry, but a reflection of endurance and identity. The genetics of the Somali people reveal a deep, complex, and truly unique human story. They are a people shaped by ancient pastoralist roots, preserved through cultural continuity, and influenced but never defined by limited external contact. What science confirms today is what many Somalis have always known intuitively. They are both ancient and regionally distinct. Their genome speaks not only to where they come from, but to how they have endured through migration, trade, and historical change. Understanding Somali genetics is not just about the past. It's about recognizing the diversity, resilience, and complexity of African identities as a whole. So if you found this exploration valuable, consider subscribing to learn more about the hidden genetic histories of people across the African continent and beyond. There are many more stories to tell.